Stag Nation, welcome back to the channel. Champions! Today we're going to be looking about at how you can double your money. Okay, double money or nothing. <laughs> or maybe uh, you can 10 exits or 20 exit. Or if you're a big boy creep, you might be able to 1000x the money. And then disappear with people's money. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> this space is unregulated. So I guess you can do whatever the heck you want. Depends on what kind of human being you are. How long does it take for your money to double? We were browsing around a visual uh, visual capitalist here and we saw this chart. We thought it was interesting. We've obviously done some videos on this situation here, but we wanted to just dive into it here. And we're going to be taking this and comparing it with the performance of Bitcoin as well over time. Looking at this, we see that since 1928 to 2021, Okay, this is the main thing here on this right side of the screen. You see that, is that a T-bill? T-bill. T-bill has returned 3.3%, real estate 4.4%, and of course, the T-bonds 4.9%. That was 323 2022, not 2023, once uh, when the Federal Reserve increased all the interest rates. Yes. So you're probably getting 4.3, so you've probably just gone up 1.3 <laughs> Well, I think they're probably losing. If you have spent this much time investing in anything and this is all you're getting, you are losing. You're losing. You're a loser. And you should talk to your banker because he's also a loser. You've worked so hard that this that's what you can get back for it. Exactly. Listen, the only person that is winning here, obviously, is the bankers because they're holding your money. Yep. So, but, you know, listen, maybe I'll get cancer for calling people a loser. We're not all winners. That's for sure. If you look at gold, 6.5, and you look at corporate bonds, 7%, and of course, the S&P with a staggering 11.5%. I bet those people are proud of themselves. I mean, if you include inflation, that's basically like 3 or 4%. Mm, sounds like another group of users. <laughs> Honestly, like, pe people always talk about these numbers and never consider inflation. You have to consider inflation and, of course, taxes, and especially if you're in real estate, right? It's like... Yeah. Uh, the, the fees associated with man managing your, your 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 real estates yeah the taxes involved if it's if, if, if it's a business yeah i mean for one the real estate is not that liquid either nope so it's not like it's something you can quickly sell and say you've held on to some profits you have mm -hmm. to hold on to it for a while then you have to look at expenses uh deduct deduct um you know just taxes okay and then also factor in inflation like double of mentioned here now looking at all of this uh at least this period of time that has been spent you see how long it would take to double your money looking at some of those uh, investments over there now the next thing we're going to be comparing it to here well at least we're just going to pull up bitcoin to look at its performance over a similar period of time mm -hmm. what do we have here double up? with inflation adjusted Right, in the last fifteen years, All right. Guess what? The average is under than thirty six percent. That's the hundred X we were just talking about during the intro. Mm. Ten years alone, sixty six percent. Remember, we have to include inflation. This is this is like what the Federal Reserve has a, has on our necks, so we have to include it. Absolutely. A year, just this year alone. Let's let's just say this year, twenty twenty three. Right. 24%. You're still bidding inflation if you've invested in Bitcoin at the beginning of the year. What else? What more can you ask for? This is big facts. You're still bidding inflation if you invest in Bitcoin. Now, <laughs> it's incredible. Because one other thing that is happening here, and we're going to come back to this chat in a little bit here, but if we look at Yahoo Finance, mm. which we can put right up there with Bloomberg when it comes to people who are scamming society. <laughs> But for some reason, listened to by our parents. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, they say Bitcoin becomes the best performing asset of the decade, returning 10 times more than the NASDAQ 1000. I don't know if there's been any other asset. I mean, there's other assets, I could say, uh, you know, asset of the decade. But how much did they rise? Because if you look at Bitcoin, the rise, as Double has already mentioned there, has been absolutely impressive. Mm -hmm. If we look at the mean uh, mean annual return, mm -hmm. we're seeing about 93% jump there. Yep. People say that it's volatile, 
But in a good year, you can get a max of up to 300%. This is what I say to those people. If there is no volatility, how do you plan to make money? <laughs> because you're going into a trade and the sole thing you're depending on is that this thing is going to go up. It's going to keep going up. That is volatility. <laughs> if you're expecting to make money to the downside, you're expecting it to go down. It must go up and it must go down. So what is the complaint about volatility for? Sure, they can take. They can say it went down seventy percent in a year. Yeah. Have you seen? <laughs> have you seen Alibaba lately? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you seen Amazon lately? <laughs> Listen, or people who talk about the dollar. One thing is only sure. One thing that is steady about your dollar for sure is the fact that it's steadily going down. That's why they're on TikTok crying every day now. <laughs> TikTok people. Listen, the crying on TikTok is one of my favorite things. Okay, I just go on there sometimes and I just sit there and I'm like. Look at this. You are trying to tell me that in this situation where everything is going awry, your first or your greatest option right now is to come on the internet and complain about it. Hey, there's that white woman effect that if a white woman cries, the world will react. So keep on doing it. Hopefully people will start paying attention to Bitcoin. <laughs> well, we need them to be preaching Bitcoin. <laughs> That's what we need. That's why we need we need them to start preaching Bitcoin. That is what we need to do. Hey, they have okay. to feel the pain to find Bitcoin. Listen, these calculations that we're looking at on uh, these returns, and of course the future potential of what Bitcoin is, comes from a range of, um, how would you say, Mathemat- well learned analyst yes how about to say mathematician and statisticians yeah, yeah we'll call them some well learned analyst okay besides ourselves again one thing listen we made a price prediction on bitcoin 2021 yeah we told everybody was coming now we told everyone was coming shortly after arc invest released a paper and they had the same price target all we did was ta technical analysis or as some people were not capable of it we'll call it astrology for men okay <laughs> the numbers came out the same we have made money with this astrology for men so to each their own if you will are you going to talk about this um formulas that are used and such yeah 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 so we're not pulling up the entire formula here it's just showing the 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 mathematical formulas mm-hmm. uh that we're used to analyze all different all different kind of assets and when you do that it just shows goes to say that when you compare bitcoin to to to, to the s p 500 right? right bitcoin still finds a way to overperform even given all the volatility and all the attacks from the from the federal reserve the central banks right. and the banks and you know all the other cryptos out there Average annual return. I think we showed you guys earlier. This is another documentation that's showing. They said forty percent. Somebody said thirty percent. Another person said forty percent. So that's that. Uh, you know, ratio of that plus or minus ten. They're all ranging around the same place, to be honest. But all of them come back uh, to the same conclusion. Yeah. So if you are down this year because maybe you got into Bitcoin. Yeah. You should ask yourself, what kind of investor are you? Are you a one-year investor or are you a two-year investor? Are you a 10-year, five-year return? Because mm. over time, all the investments, most investments yield some level, of, uh, some level of, of return if you pick the right investments. But over that period of time, one is going to outperform the other. What we're trying to tell you is that Bitcoin's... Look, look at the markets right now. Everything is down. Yeah. I mean, listen, I, 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 I would actually take that further. I would say every investment yields a return, even if it's a loss, because a loss just means you're getting back nothing <laughs> or less. You know, it is. Or uh, also, a return might also be the fact that you're now emotionally wrecked. You've taken too much risk and you've been rewarded with pain, hey. agony. Maybe <laughs> you've learned a lesson. You need to go and sit down, take time out, Abby. Like investing in arc. Yeah. But just don't <laughs> resort to anything too, you know, aggressive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or don't go back to your old ways, if you will. <coughs> anyway, um, 
I want to treat this little excerpt here, mm -hmm. right? It just talks about the volatility of Bitcoin. And it says, if we look at the cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Bitcoin is not a cryptocurrency, it's just mm -hmm. Bitcoin, mm -hmm. okay? It's not the cryptocurrency group. The annual <laughs> volatility of Bitcoin is about 3.8x the volatility of the S&P 500. That means that the annual, the average uh, annual return for Bitcoin needs to be about 3% a year to make it break even with the S&P 500 on a compound return basis. Bitcoin managed to do that over the last five years with an average annual return of 40%. They go on to say, but do you really think Bitcoin is going to average more than 30% year over year for the next five years? It can. Okay. It might not be all in one year, but again, you stretch it and you divide it. We'll show you guys the chart. Okay. Charts pros at all. Here's something that when people write these articles need to look at, go back and see where the thing started from take a look at the time as well okay you remember this first chart we show you this is 1928 mm -hmm. to 2022 bitcoin started in what 2009 Nine, yep if you take that time frame and put it next to uh 1928 destroyed i think you see that there's not really a comparison here we must really ask ourselves what sort of asset is this because there is no coming back and you have to remember all assets started at some point yeah right yeah, they're all Bitcoin happens to be the new asset type. Real estate actually recently became an asset type. It was not. It was just a, something that you had. You know? Until they started. You think your house is just a place where you live. No, yeah. But, you know. It's hey. an asset type now. And that's probably one of the reasons that caused the 2008 financial crash. Yeah. This is the way that they convince most people to buy a house, right? I think mm -hmm. most of the time, like the, the first thing you hear a lot of people say, or or even after they they know that they've made a horrible decision and they, you know you ask them or whatever, like, well, but it's gonna go oh, up in value. value over time. Okay, when are you gonna sell it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you start yeah. a business and and all of a sudden everybody's buying the stocks of that business yeah. on the exchange, but you ask yourself, how did you value that stock? About sixty seventy percent of that is just the fact that oh the founders came up with an idea with an idea yeah so you're paying for an idea <laughs> exactly <laughs> well here's the point here okay how long does it take to double your money if you're in traditional investments to be honest with you it's at the will of the federal reserve and your friends and all those others buffet the guys who move the markets yep the whales okay we call them and that is going to be whenever they say you're going to double your money or if you look at it over the period of time when you factor in inflation and so on and so forth it will take you a very long time do you even ask yourself a question did they set it up this way so that you would not feel the pain yeah i mean dude, most people don't even understand what is happening but it just i mean this is why they're crying on tiktok right now right because they do not know what was happening to they got to this point because if you knew that all of this was coming you would have moved differently Mm. I don't care if people want to say oh that's me You're talking, I don't care bro it's whatever you would have moved differently this is the situation now what are you going to do about it Bitcoin is still dominating as we can see here okay if you're trying to double your money with Bitcoin I think once you understand it once you understand the capabilities of a borderless decentralized asset then I think uh, you have an answer for yourself. This thing can uh, can can uh, hold on to, can induce or at least absorb the runs from what might be capital flight from any economy. That is very interesting, because you see, part of the reason, one of part of the thing with capital flight is that because we're using fiat, right? You cannot travel out of the country. Mm -hmm. carrying more than a certain amount of money you cannot transfer a certain amount of money to whatever part of the world you wish to to engage in business how you wish in some cases you might even try to invest and because you're not an institutional investor you're not qualified to send who puts these rules there what makes it legal what are the consequences of allowing people to be able to further their potential because all that has happened is that we've been taken away from it's not something that you're born into and this is what you you have to live with mm -hmm. right so bitcoin definitely uh, works around that 
And I think that that's something that um, most people don't understand to begin with. I definitely see the potential for, for what this can bring. El Salvador is one of those places I'm continuously watching just to see how things turn out. Because I think there's a lot of places on earth like, well, most of these places happen to be in Africa that need Bitcoin that will double their money in no time and be on par with the rest of the world. Maybe not all of Africa, to be honest, because there are some parts that, ah, now God go help on that, but it's all good. Any final thoughts, double up? Yeah, the question you should be asking is, why do you want to double your money? And what would you do when you get that opportunity to double your money? Cocaine and hookahs <laughs> is the way. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I mean personally, yeah, yeah, that's that's a, that's a good one to think about though. Yeah. Uh, for people who are interested in, in you know, uh, really having a making an impact with your money, you want to plan what you're going to do with your money ahead yep. of time. Otherwise, when you get it, like Double O once told me, it would disappear if you don't have a plan. <laughs> you know. So yep. that's all we have on that one, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you found some value in this video. We hope you even find it entertaining. Okay. For us, we're going to keep tracking Bitcoin. We are living through history. And I think that one day we'll look back at these videos and we'll be extremely happy that we did this. Whether it's making a change for someone who does not understand Bitcoin to the fact that we're just documenting history as it unfolds. Okay. You guys read history books in school, right? Who wrote it? <laughs> hmm? We are writing this one. Who captured it before it was written on paper? You gotta think ahead, man. Yeah? Uh, is there anything else? Where is that final thoughts, right? Uh, final thoughts, man. We have shown you the secret of doubling your money. When you do double your money, what do you plan to do with it? But the funny thing about Bitcoin is that if you take the time to study Bitcoin, it will turn you into a much better person. So that when you acquire that double or multiplying effect, of your money, you'll be of greater value to to the environment and to the world around you. That's right. Well, nothing else to say to that. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, please, okay, like the video, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot to us. Um, we're also on X at Stackfin. We're going to be adding our Nostar or demos account is Nostar. Nostar uh, handle there soon, right? If you want, it's also stack on Nostar. And of course, we are also on Spotify. Until next time, drink water, eat your vegetables, okay? Grow some plants before inflation takes you out. Present out. <laughs>